and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. F, the virus, the United States reported 1 million new COVID infections in the last 24 hours. It appears leaders are leaderless in the United States and in most countries around the world. The United States of America recorded 1 million new corona cases in the last 24 hours, may God help America. The silver lining is, symptoms are weakening with Omicron on new coronavirus cases worldwide. In the United States, 1,000 daily new cases were alarming, 10,000 was enormous, 100.000 unbelievable, but today in the United States more than 1 million people were infected in just 24 hours. This is the first time anywhere in the world the 1 million red line was exceeded by any country. Travel however continues, no lockdowns, the economy goes on. Omicron and vaccines make it possible. The opinion is that cases for those vaccinated and boosted will be mild. Those not vaccinated, not boosted may God help them. Since COVID-19 always works with a delay it's not clear what this increase in new illnesses means to the economy to continue functioning, to the U.S. health system. Hawaii just yesterday announced relaxation in travel rules. In March 2020 a t-shirt saying foo. The virus was a bestseller in Berlin. Perhaps this is what the attitude is today in the U.S. Judging from the availability of tests in the U.S. compared to Europe, the U.S. remains a third-world country. The Biden administration admitted last night that it had not yet signed the contract to purchase test kits is embarrassing. Lines of people trying to get tests anywhere in the land of the free, why in Germany for example tests are available at every street corner and at home free of charge. The distribution of vaccines worldwide is far from equal and not available in many countries, while 30% of Americans refuse to get vaccinated. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etrobonews.com or travelnews.online.